Studies have linked a well-known sleep aid with lower COVID infection rates and higher chances of survival. It's the supplement melatonin. Now our ABC 10 News anchor Derek Stahl is going in depth on emerging data that melatonin might help COVID long haulers as well. How you sleep affects how your body fights infections. And that's why scientists have been studying the sleep aid melatonin since the early days of the pandemic. A study on hospitalized COVID patients in Iraq found those taking 10 milligrams of melatonin each night before bed had a lower risk of COVID-related blood clots, sepsis, even death. Another study in Spain found melatonin reduced the risk of death in hospitalized COVID patients by nearly 40%. Now, new research is offering a glimmer of hope for the millions suffering from long haul COVID. Unfortunately, we don't have any treatments for long COVID syndrome itself. What we do have are symptomatic therapies. Dr. Navaz Karanjia takes care of COVID long haulers at UC San Diego, where she sees patients with persistent fatigue, headaches, and difficulty concentrating or brain fog. Around 55% of patients after recovering from COVID have at least one long COVID symptom for at least six months afterwards. Scientists think these neurological issues happen when the coronavirus enters brain cells. This week, researchers in France showed that high doses of melatonin actually blocked the coronavirus from entering the brains of mice and reduced swelling there. It's encouraging, but Dr. Karangia says a lot more studies are needed because the amount of melatonin they used on the mice is unrealistic. Most of us, if we're taking melatonin for sleep, are taking three milligrams of melatonin, not 3,500. So they're taking like over a thousand times the dose. Still, there are at least a half dozen clinical trials on melatonin and COVID underway. Melatonin is a hormone produced by the body and it's known to reduce inflammation. Out of control inflammation is one of the biggest problems with COVID. Some researchers are exploring whether melatonin can be used to treat mild COVID symptoms early on or even prevent infections. A study early in the pandemic by the Cleveland Clinic found people taking melatonin had a 28% lower chance of getting infected with COVID in the first place. Derek Stahl, ABC 10 News. Now, some doctors do recommend that patients start taking up to 10 milligrams of melatonin a night beginning the day they're infected. But just like anything else, you will want to talk with your own doctor first.